Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we are watching 2017's Baby Driver. This one is directed by Edgar Wright. So I'm already in love with it. This has a huge lineup of stars and a first time watch for me. Super excited for this one. Well, I have seen this once before, but it was like late at night, so I barely remember it, but I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to tingle the senses, so to speak, to remind myself of this movie. <laughs> Years of doing this. This is the first time I've heard tingle the senses, and we got animation with it. Um, I, I'm all down for tingling, too, I guess. Uh, first time watch for me, like Mason Quitt said, a really solid cast, so... Let's uh, let's get to tingling. All yeah. right, <laughs> let's go. Ooh, he's got the Subi. Oh, oh, look at that thing. Yeah. Even for 2017, that's old. Hey, <laughs> oh, yes. look at Burn his dog. beard and oh, John Hamm man, wow. looking like a badass. I believe that's uh, Anna de Armas, and she was in uh, Knives Out, the first oh. Knives Out. If I had John Hamm and John Bernthal in my car, I might lose it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is going on? Explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's popping off rounds. You know, John Hamm's kind of looking like Negan there a little bit. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, I got to tell you about Bill Bottom. Bill Bottom. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> now he's just showing off. Well, if you needed a getaway car, an all wheel drive Subaru is a very solid choice. Wait <laughs> <laughs> for John Hamm to make a comment. They look like they're not that confident. Oh, nice. Man, this just reminds me of Ken Block. May he rust in peace. Oh, kicked out the spike strip. Oh, he's got a crew behind him now. Oh, nice. Oh, he's going to blend in. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. He got on the other yeah, side. He's doing the, uh, the cup game where you switch him around. Man, it's been a minute since we've seen a movie Holy with a good car chase. That was the slickest thing I think I've uh, ever seen in a movie. How long has it been since we've seen a good car chase? Oh! Well, I mean, every Tom Cruise movie has yeah, the good I suppose, car chases. I guess. But that was just. That was like Fast and Furious dump truck recycling <laughs> yeah. truck swap action right there. You thought it was going to be jump around, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, so did I. I did. As I did. <laughs> Next customer. Oh, uh, can I take your order? Wow, yeah, nice attitude. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll have a uh, four black coffees, medium. Name? Baby. Baby. B A B Y baby. Oh, I didn't expect the southern accent. Robert of escape with upwards of two hundred thousand dollars. Octane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I wonder how big of a cut he gets. What do you think? Ten? Twenty percent? Uh, we'll find out. Full cut, same as everyone. Doc, I mean, is he uh, retarded? Retarded means slow. Was he slow? No. He's a good kid and devil behind the wheel. What the hell else more do you need to know? There's nothing wrong with a little quiet. You know why they call him baby, right? Just waiting on his first words. <laughs> <laughs> why would he be such a dick to him when he just drove like that and got him away? What are you listening to? Uh, music. For God's sakes, Griff, leave the kid alone. Just think that he thinks he's better than us. Doesn't 200,000 split five ways seem a little light for risking years and years in jail? I think he's a star. Would I vouch for him if he wasn't? 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying, though? They got away with 200000 Well, that's what they estimated. It looked like they had a lot more than that when they were stacking the bills. Yeah, but it's 40, 40 grand each. Like, yeah, but all for two hours work. If you don't see me again, it's because I'm dead. <laughs> really hope we see John Bernthal again. Well, sir, I expect the lady and myself to darken your door once the nose bag is empty. You did good, kid. Do me a favor next time Doc calls. Don't pick up. Don't listen to him. More fast approach from the day. And you will be all paid up. All paid up, so he gets... Oh, for something. And we're straight. Sound good? There was that's ten grand in a stack like that. There looked like there was a lot more than two hundred in that bag. Yeah, they were there was, yeah. These are for you. I'm gonna need you behind the wheel again real soon. Okay, so he owes them for something. Yeah. Yeah, that was way more than two hundred if you look at all Yeah, the, the media was taming it way down. They didn't do that heist for that much, so ranch clad in black business clothing. Jesus, do you see all that cash under yeah. there? I love how the camera is just following us the, around. The, the camera angles in this film, I mean, we are, you know, a few minutes in, and they've been awesome. Mm -hmm. the, from the driving shots to the way he was walking around the city, everything. That guy knows what he's up to coming home with a stack of cash hiding it in the floorboards. You are so beautiful. <laughs> Little rascals. Oh, so freaking fast, aren't they? <laughs> Krasinski. You and I are a team. How's it working out for you? Being and clever. Steve will stand. Now he must try to end this on foot. Was he slow? No. Was he slow? What is this? Slow, slow. Was he slow? No. No. Was he slow? <laughs> <laughs> was he slow? Mozart in a go-kart. Wow. wow. Is he making um, one of those angel. after every... After every job. Red line, wheels of steel, oh, wild child. That just says mom. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. that height behind yeah. the Jane Mansfield, anybody? Yeah. Uh, That's why he still yeah. has that. You think he wouldn't wear that same glasses and everything with them having his face on the news yeah. like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't have a clear shot. Whenever the sun don't shine. He's in love. Just a little bit. So, what can I get you this fine morning? I have all the time in the world. Hello, testing. What can I get you this fine morning? Oh, is she going to rewind it and hear that he got her singing? So you just starting your day, or did you just get off? Well, I don't know if I ever get off. They call out go. You know. So when was the last time you hit the road just for fun? Yesterday. Sometimes all I want to do is head west on 20 in a car I can't afford with a plan I don't have. Just me, my music, and the road. Oh, he's getting some ideas. Yep. Oh, uh, so, you deciding anything yet? You are so beautiful. Oh, I'm sure you don't mean it. I do mean it. Wow. Jonathan? <laughs> <laughs> you know, this isn't my badge. I've only just started here. So, Jonathan. I have a question. What's that song you're singing? Baby, oh baby, <laughs> to call you baby. <laughs> You're a connoisseur of the vinyl answer. You may do the wrong things right. <laughs> uh -oh. Meet your new crew. Over here is Eddie No Nose, formerly Eddie the Nose. And right here is JD. He put the Asian in home invasion. And over there is the one and the only Bats. The drive is supposed to be the eyes and the ears. Why is he listening to music all the time, Doc? He had an accident when he was a kid. He still got a hum on the drum. Plays music to drown it out. Your tattoo says hat. 
Yeah, I used to say, hey, but to increase my chances of employment, I got the year of move. <laughs> <laughs> He's been boosting cars since he was old enough to see over the dash. He stole my Mercedes, had a lot of merch in it. I made sure to tell him who I was, what I was capable of. Since he's been paying me back, he's also shown me what he's capable of. I love Flea, but man, does he seem like the guy you want to have on a heist? No. No, oh, we're hitting an armored truck. He's getting worked up. For an 8.30 start in the AM. Questions. You lay down your whole play. He ain't even listening. The target is an armored truck at Perimeter Trust in Dunwoody, 10 a.m. sharp. The bank itself is right near the Buford Highway, so we should be able to hit the ramp within 60 seconds of getting out. Boom. Wow. Just like that. Well, ain't y'all cute? That's my baby. <laughs> your baby. Oh, that's a cool with the glasses. Nice. Okay, so we got an avalanche. I was wondering if they did any engine work on it. So apparently not. He's just boosting them. So. Yeah, and just taking them. Mm -hmm. He's got the gloves yeah. on. What's in there, Zal? It belongs to us. You see that guy had a Marine plate on the front of his Yeah. Front, so I want, uh, he was eyeing them up, too. Let's go get it back. What's <laughs> rightfully ours? He got Mike a Michael Myers. Myers. I got to start the song over. <laughs> okay, go. Oh, let's be the timing. <laughs> Michael <laughs> Myers. Oh, they blew him away. <laughs> oh. oh. Whoa. He's packing some heat. What the fuck? Soldier boy. He ain't giving up, huh? Not the soldier boy. No. No. If it was, they'd be in trouble. Come on, fuck, boy. Oh. Oh, oh. oh Jesus. Oh, that's, uh, that's it for him. Yeah, he just lost the wheel. New ride, let's go! Sweetheart. Uh, oh my god. Get out the car! I have a child! I got one too! Get the <gasps> f out! Let's move! Get the baby in the car! Get your damn way ass over here! Let's go! Oh, oh, that's the getaway car now? Uh, Saturn? I left my shotgun behind! Got groovy, JD! Shit. Yeah. yeah, they don't know what car they're in yet. Yeah, they could do another swap here. There you go. How many people do you think watched this movie and tried going out and doing some dumb... Well, if you have nah. other cars laying around, it looks pretty easy. You make me miss that shot. Come on, man. You can tell me. No. Hmm. You're a good driver. You're a bad liar, though. The moment you catch feelings, is the moment you catch a bullet. And pick up your purse and go get the coffee. So that one actually, oh, yeah, felt that... like, oh, okay, so they showed us a different sort of uh, issue that he had with uh, with getting away, but it felt a lot easier as far as evading the, the police mm. than the first one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, essentially, they just had to get away from the uh, the Marine. Yeah, and they, they did 86, the guy, but. Yeah, that was bad. Oh, you looking for JD? Cause he's long gone, baby. <laughs> well, that should have been his last job. I'm a man of my word. Oh, he's and you're trunk. all straight, baby. You're all paid up. Cost for celebration. Oh, yeah. Well, before you go completely crazy, you need to sunset that ride. Oh, he's gonna make him get rid of it. Yeah, I might want to clean off the back. There is a sunset in it. Oh, he's having flashbacks. Mom was a singer. Oh, so he put his headphones in to drown out. Yeah. Things that were going on mm -hmm. with his parents. Ugh. 
So how's baby going to get roped back into the life? Yeah. Ooh. Wonder how many junkyards across the country just take uh, take cars and yeah. destroy them for the right price. I am walking out that door in precisely 30 seconds. You're leaving? Can I come with you? Well, you're welcome to come with, but I don't know how exciting you're going to find the laundromat. But think about what you want, and I will stick around just for you. He's sweet, isn't he? That kid? I think maybe his mom used to work here. Oh. Oh, no. Know what you want? Your name? It's Debbie. Deborah. Oh, that song. The big one? Bugs up time D-E-B-O-R-A, and I think that's just D-E-B-R-A. I don't know that one. I pet you, Jay-Z Penny. <laughs> the whisper singing. <laughs> what? How many of those do you have? Oh, I got different iPods for different days and moods. Oh, pink and glittery mood. That was his mom's, I bet. Yeah. What is your name? Baby. Wait, what? B-A-B-Y, baby. Then you have us all beat. <laughs> Every damn song is about you. <laughs> <laughs> Did your mom call you baby as a kid? Ah. Uh. Sometimes. She used to work here? She was a singer, too. And what does she do now? Nothing. Oh, uh, no. I could find Debra's phone. Debbie! Crying out loud. Because <laughs> there's so many more customers she has yeah. to serve. Right. Now you know what you want yet? <laughs> to get out of here. Look at that. Can't say I've heard this one before. Mm. No, there's a lot of stuff on here I haven't heard. I do like it. Yeah. What's your story, What's going baby? on with the laundromat? You from here? That's a lot, a lot of, of colors. colors. Yeah, but look at all yellow, colors. red, blue. Spoken more to you today than I have to anyone all year. I was in an accident when I was little. Is that what happened to your mom? Yeah. Yeah, my dad. I'm sorry. No, don't be. I live with my foster dad, but now he's getting old, so it's more like I'm looking after him. I had to look after my mom when she got sick. Once they're gone, you'll miss having someone to care for. I don't have much to keep me here anymore. Well, neither does he. We could get together some other time, some other place. Oh, well, we could go to, uh, um, oh, Bacchanalia. I've never been. I, I hear it's nice. It's the finest wine in the dining of all the wines and dines in town. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not working. You're not driving anymore? I'm sorry. No, don't be. It's my choice. Well, aren't you the lucky one? Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bank one. <laughs> I saw these guys go marching in the bank with Halloween masks. Weapons drawn. Uh -oh. What a good fella's pizza. And I'm not afraid to do it. Pizza? He's going to be a he pizza del delivery driver. driver. <laughs> He's going to be all dressed up when he, yep, that's what I thought. Nice, nice shot. So is he going to whip through town and try to get pizzas there extra? <laughs> yes, yes, of course. Whoa, that was that? I don't know. He's used to getting a stack <laughs> of hundreds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so he... Pretty much knew about what he was doing, it seems like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at that ride! What? Well, he said he was taking her to the finest wine and diner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we didn't think he was going to that ride. Yep. You're all good. A gentleman picked this up already. A gentleman? Oh. Who is that? Spiral boss. Excuse me, I'm sick. I said we were straight, but did you think we were done? That that was it? Now it's time to profit. This is the fun bit, baby. No, no. You know I never do a job with the exact same crew twice, right? Yes. And you also know you've been my driver for every job since we've met. Uh, oh, boy. 
You are my lucky charm. No, I don't think I need to give you this feature about what happens when you say no, how I could break your legs and kill everyone you love. So what's it going to be? Behind the wheel or in a wheelchair? The first one. I'll pick you up in the morning. Oh. Jesus. Waitress girlfriend, she's cute. Let's keep it that way. Oh, oh what a... Everything about her. What a dick. Is everything okay, baby? You don't have to worry about me. You can tell me anything. I'm not worried about you. I mean, I... You're the best thing that's happened to me in a long time. And I just worry that I'm not good enough for you. I can see you're kind and you're different. And I'm here for you when you're ready. All right. There we go. All right. There we go. What are you doing tomorrow? Oh, you tell me. Oh. <laughs> That is a sweet, sweet ride. Look, it looks like a recliner inside. <laughs> yeah, the plush seats. Oh, remember those back in the day? Oh, oh man. man, so comfortable. There was a period from like the early to the late seventies where there wasn't really much of a line between luxury furniture and the interior of automobiles. No, the sixties you had a lot of leather and vinyl, you know, but the seventies. Take note of the number of cameras and positions, the number of registers open. We'll get in line, buy some stamps. Take the nephew, less suspicious. I oh, just got him on his playing a PlayStation Portable. A lot of cameras. Ten cameras, eight registers, Oof. two open. That's your boy? Sure. <laughs> yeah, sure is. Are you here tomorrow? Sure am. Working nine to five, just like Dolly. Got a post office? You said you catch your feelings. How much money what would a post office have? What you're going after? Maybe information? Ten cameras, eight registers, three open. The tellers seem nice. She gave me a map. You probably wouldn't even need to use a gun with her. A post office? Yeah, I mean, I'm confused, but I'm just going to go with it for the sake of the movie. You're not just saying what you think I want to hear, right? You and I are a team. Nothing is more important than our friendship. Good to know. You'll be out of this shithole soon. Think he's gonna get him a new place? Just to kind of I grease just, him into. I just wonder how long he's gonna need him for. Is Deborah there? Debbie, phone. Hey, what do I owe this honor? Am I still seeing you later? I have to drive again. It's not what I want. And what do you want, baby? I want us to head west on twenty in a car we can't afford with a plane we don't have. Keep driving or never stop. Oh, you got a lot of cash under the floorboards, mm -hmm. bud. You win? I'm in, baby. See you soon. Y'all just <laughs> met each other. How's he? Hey. What's he gonna do with his foster dad? Love knows no bounds. And I, I know. I, I, look, if I was that age and had that much cash under my f floors, I'd run west too. But <laughs> he's got his foster dad. Yeah. Oh, look who's back. Hey, hey baby. Here, no evil's back, huh? What you ladies listening to? Queen. Queen. You never been a wheel man? You never had a lucky song? Cigarette song, opera heist, but not before a job. I need four pairs of eyes and three sets of ears. Gather up. <laughs> three sets of ears. I know a guy who has a machine that can turn blank ones into green. Darlin goes in the front. Buddy takes a five alligator count and follows her inside. Grab all the boxes and then sneak out the back to baby and the waiting car. We need some fresh hardware. Not traceable to us or any previous jobs. You all have an early start in the morning and there's eyes everywhere. You're staying the night here. Oh, it's not meeting up. Got nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. <laughs> <laughs> Pull over there. We gotta take a leak. Tell me what we're gonna do with all that money. We'll put it all on red. We'll get married again. You <laughs> just looked at me funny. You want me to kill bats? Not before the job, silly. Hmm? Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> what, did you steal all this? You said you want some gun. Fuck, I'm supposed to pay for it. Let's go. Now his face is on camera with him. Boy, baby's getting into it thick here. Come on, you're going in with us. We might not be living in this. Find something funky on there. It's just in case we gotta rip this joint up. What's with the earbuds? Recording this or something? It's just his music. Yeah, he's loony. He's just like his tunes. Welcome oh. to La Chacatari. We have a fine selection of sausages. 
See, a lot of the guns you can get. The grenades, it's a different ah. story. I just love smoking pigs. Oh! Yeah, that's what he thought. Oh, John Hamm just got caught. No, I think he got away. Oh, I thought he got hit. So did I. Oh. Did she get tagged? Yeah, I think just she on did. the Just on the arm. Whoa! Fuck that! Oh, oh, my oh, oh, shot. Guess what? There was pigs. Look at the boxes. It's APD! <laughs> Baby, don't let him get away! Get us out of here, baby. Let's move. Come on, let's go! Oh, oh, right into nice the cup shot. holder. <laughs> right in the cup holder. So now we have murder of a police officer. Uh, a lot of them. Hey, stop, stop, stop up here. Stop up here. Oh, that's their diner. No. Stop the car. I don't want to go in there. It sucks. What with that recommendation? We got to go in now. Oh, bro. oh. Mm. Yeah, it's not helping that Darlin has, you know, some blood on <laughs> her coat, <laughs> bullet hole in her jacket. I think you're the last word in crazy. You don't want to see my buddy mad. You haven't seen how relentless he is. Because when he sees red, you all see nothing but black. <sighs> That's a line. You guys perfectly do. I mean that. What, what can I get you to eat? Get these cats some happy meals and uh, I'm gonna take care of the bill. Yeah, my friend here, he, uh, he he does like this place. And maybe your friend would like to fill out a suggestion slip. Oh, way to play it cool. I got this. Oh. What's your problem? Okay. I'll make sure you tip the nice lady. Things that you wanted before. Jesus. Oh, that was intense. I wonder what Jamie Foxx is doing a hell of a job. What's he going to do about his foster dad? Mm -hmm. Well, your contacts was cops, Doc. They were my cops. And I'm not going to take a bullet for you and nobody else in this motherfucker. Is that true? They fired first? Yeah. How would he go to bat for him? Mm, that's interesting. Baby. Ask somebody on the planet Earth. I will ask whoever the f I want. Go home, job's off. Whoa, no, whoa, whoa, fuck? wait a minute. The only way they can ID us is with a Ouija board or some shit. Well, your name only takes four letters to spell out. That bad say my real f name. It's over, Leon. Oh. <laughs> so we drive him to the stall. Buddy got a guy, ain't that right, Wall Street? Yeah, I got a guy. Baby, your call. I said we all get some sleep. Get ready for this f thing. He's going to suspect something there. Your call. Time to make a big boy decision. Oh. Do I get to say Dream it? sequence. <laughs> ah, answer caught me. God damn it, answer. Uh, well, once you see black and white and then yeah, there. But you couldn't let me have my just. Whatever answer. <laughs> Two AM. Yeah, he's getting out of Dodge. Oh, Jamie Foxx just woke up. Yep. Where you going, baby? Coffee. I got enough on my plate worried about bats. I gotta worry about you too now. Driving is just some kind of escape for you. Then go. Just making sure everything's ready for tomorrow. Hey. Because we gotta discuss this. No, no, it's the same one. It's just me fooling around. I like to record stuff. Music. Out of the words, songs, mixes. It's just something I do. Can you play us one of your mixes? I can. They're just they're at home. I live really far away. No, you don't. Oh. <sighs> Wake up, baby. Time to explain. Oh, don't worry about him. He ain't going away. Why don't you play us something, baby? Was he slow? No. 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 I'll ask more than you do. No. <laughs> It's Debbie. Isn't that the waitress from the diner? Take this fool back to his hole. I'll find another driver for tomorrow. You're not getting a new driver. I don't squeal to the cops. I squeal on the road. <laughs> well, you heard the kid. He's driving. 
<sighs> this is getting intense. 4 p.m. this afternoon, with sunny skies expected to show up around the planet. Oh, rain on the roads? Ooh, that's not good. Remember what's in there is ours. Belongs to us. Get so let's go back in there and take back what's ours. It's like Joe Kane in the program. Oh, did you see, see that? the raindrop just fell? Yep. You think he's going to bail on all them after he drops Jamie Foxx off? Uh, well, no, because they have his foster. Yep. Head. Boom, boom, boom. It's go time, oh. baby. Oh, I was seeing that rebar there, and I was I was thinking he was up to something. No, up to no good. <laughs> I think he does have a plan. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's go, let's go! Oh, they have his face on security cameras from the day before. Yeah. Put your foot on the gas! Come on, come on. Oh! Oh, did it get? Okay, just got him. Come on, come on, give me your hand. Come on. I moved. I moved. Jason. Oh, and we know his real name. Well, they're actually giving him time to. Escape. Oh, they're Dunzo on foot. Oh, she oh. pointed him out. Is our guy gonna go for a change of clothes or something here? Yeah, there you go, smart move. Oh, that, oh. that didn't seem to help much. Nope, sure didn't. It's something that blends in. You know, had he just driven away calmly, oh. Might have pulled it off. Ah! <laughs> Oh, she's gonna get. Yeah. Oh. He's gonna go out in a blaze of glory now. It sure is. He just grabbed the bag. Yeah, he did. Get out of the car, lady. Get it now. <laughs> He's going through the radio. Can't drive without music. There you go. There's a Come hit. on. A little radar love. But what started as a robbery? You alright? I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Oh. Oh. Bo's Donner, what do you have? Is Deborah there? She's with a customer right now. You want to hold? Just tell her baby's coming. Baby? B A B Y. Baby. 86 purple Chevy Caprice. There you go. Hello. My name is Joseph. I like frozen peas and meatloaf and white bread. Peanut butter. Spread to the edge. Please look after me. Thank you. Yeah, that's all the cash is for. That's all the money he has. This is the Aurora Police Department. All residents remain inside your home. Do not go outside until all clear is given. What's he driving now? Yeah, he's not in the big old boat. Oh, he, he kept the... The postal service stuff, though. That's not really good to anybody, is it? Well, not unless he has somebody that can... You gotta have a guy. Yeah. Your buddy's here. She got away. I was hoping I would catch you, too. My darling. She was a good girl. 
I love to her. Right on. No, 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 no. Is she a good girl? You love her? Yes, I do. So you got a bathroom key? <laughs> to keep you pleased in every way I can. He turned on his lights to go use the bathroom. <laughs> oh, she's shaking. Oh, that's plenty. Song's over, baby. How you two doing tonight? We're doing just fine. Isn't that right, baby? Oh! oh. Come on! <laughs> Can't keep running, baby! What's happening, baby? I have to go. No. I'm coming with you. Atlanta Police Department. Can you show me where you've been shot? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Who's this? This baby. I need your help. I'm afraid this line is dead. Baby, we need to get out of here. Get out! Check out Bonnie and Clyde, yo. Like Bonnie and Bonnie. Get out of the car. You ever shot a gun before, homie? I just did. Literally five minutes ago. <laughs> Can we skip my goddamn phone? No. <laughs> you know, if you drive casual, okay, oh, you might have a chance to get out. See, this is what I'm saying. You're going to get pulled over for speeding anyhow. Not a chauffeur. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> I need those tapes. I'm not giving you those tapes. I shot Buddy. Congratulations. You're going to shoot me too? Never. You and I are a team. Don't feed me any more lines from Monsters, Inc. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it sounded familiar, you little sh**. Why should I, after what you've done to me? It's okay. Let's go. Oh, God damn it. Okay, go get your f***ing tape. It's going to take more than a cassette to get you two out of this. The good news is you like driving, because you can't take your foot off the gas for the next 25 years. I was in love once. Did not see that coming. I thought... Oh! Oh! oh. I thought I told you to run. I'll deal with the cops. That's not the cops. Your killer track. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's gonna smash his getaway car! Yeah. Oh no! Well, there's plenty to pick from, it looks like. Oh! Nice! Oh, the old oh. jump over yeah. the car! Oh, look at that oh. shot! <laughs> We're getting out. We're getting out? I have to end this. Where's the other No! Oh! Uh, oh, big old blazer. You think uh, you want gonna just... win? Oh! That's for good measure. Did he get out? You're good, kid. Uh, but you took something away from me that I love. You know I gotta do the same. Oh. I really wish you could hear a scream. Oh, oh. that will oh. do it. Uh, wow, that. what a finish. <laughs> that that should do it. That's what all she wrote. Gonzi. What are you doing? Hitting the road. Really, your mom? Yeah. She has a beautiful voice. Uh, can our guys catch a break here? I'm not happy uh, You don't belong in this world. So I guess foster dad. Oh, 
How would you describe your relationship with the defendant? We were friends. And I think we both wanted to be more than that. I believe the defendant is of good character. And he threw my purse right at me. <laughs> and he actually said, I'm sorry. Like he was warning me, somehow telling me not to go inside. It was never his fault. He's got a good heart. I hereby sentence the defendant to 25 years in the federal oh. penitentiary. Ugh. Subject to a parole hearing after five years served. Five? Five years parole? You got a letter, kid. Hey, baby. Even though I heard it so many times in the court case, I still can't get used to the fact that your real name is Miles. <laughs> I can think of a lot of great Miles songs, but we still have to get through all those baby Girl, songs she's first. she's sending them postcards mm. from all over. Is it a dream sequence, Oak? Here well, comes the color. It's going in color! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that rainbow. Yep. Can't have a rainbow without Where'd rain. Where did she get that car from? Well, he probably had a couple of bucks stashed. Ah. Uh, he showed her a few tricks. Folks, I am completely blown away by this movie. It was not what I expected at all on any level. I thought Edgar Wright, I thought we were going to have a, a funny comedy heist type movie. We had so many of our favorites were in this and I, I had a ton of notes on this, but uh, um, first off, I wanted to give a shout out real quick because I thought of it early. The the young actors they got that they got to play, a young Miles, I thought those kids did a fantastic job of portraying everything that he was going through when he was younger with just their faces because obviously we didn't have any sound or anything like that. So big shout out to those young actors. They did a fa fantastic job. I mean, obviously enough for me to write it down, but this movie was not an Edgar Wright movie that I'm used to uh, totally blew me away. Not what I expected. Jamie Foxx was an amazing villain, as was John Hamm, John Bernthal. And that's what I thought was weird was that all of our, of our actors, except for Baby, which is even kind of on the fence, everybody was a villain. <laughs> I mean, everybody was a villain in the whole movie. And I can't think of a time I've really seen something like that. I mean, I don't know if these guys have seen it. It's not a spoiler, but, you know, maybe something like Reservoir Dogs maybe had that vibe a little bit. Uh, so that was really, really cool. Obviously, the way they blended the music with the gunfire and all the action going on was really unique. And I think unique is pretty much a great word for this movie. It was a heist movie, yes, but it was a heist movie like I've never seen. And I, I love, absolutely love a good heist movie, whether it's, you know, a, a good gang, a British gangster heist movie or something here in the U.S. that's done. Uh, we did Wrath of Man early mm -hmm. in the channel, and I absolutely loved that. So um, I love a heist movie. This was, again, very unique, and it's, man, I know I just, I'm coming off just seeing it, and uh, I'm kind of in the moment. It was unique in its own way, but for me, this is right up there with kind of like a, it's real close to like on the level of heat uh, as far as one of my favorite heist movies ever. Again, I cannot stress how blown away and surprised I am by this movie. Absolutely incredible. A style I didn't expect out of Edgar Wright. I did not expect the twist at the end with Kevin Spacey's character kind of turning like that. That, that completely took me for a loop and doc i didn't expect uh miles baby to get caught at the end i thought they were home free everything was looking good but then he turned himself in eventually gets out in the five years so a very unique twist on just a classic heist movie the driving scenes were obviously outstanding i would love to see when these guys are going through the review uh if answer can scroll through the wikipedia i'd love to see who did the driving for it um yeah, just an absolute banger. All of our stars we we like, they were all villains, all of them. John Bernthal was a huge asshole. <laughs> John Hamm reminded me of Negan for a little bit there. If any of you Walking Dead fans out there might agree with me, I thought maybe he was in the running to play Negan, but that's a whole other story that we can uh, talk about later. But anyways, yes, absolute banger. What a surprise. Could not be more blown away. <sighs> Here you go, because I... I'm, I'm just... Uh, yeah, I... I... 
Did you think it was going to be a comedy? Uh, no, I mean, I, I did. I guess I didn't know what it was. I vaguely remember seeing. Um, I vaguely remember seeing trailers for it. I mean, it's, it's 2017, so it's not that old. I vaguely remember seeing trailers with um, with uh, with chase scenes and stuff like that. So that's all I really remember. So I, I thought, you know, we were going to get some some driving and stuff like that. But the depth of the story here was was really good it was really unique this is one of the times where i'm going to say that i think the the way they shot the films and the camera work and the angles and everything really stood out to me so it was a really solid story you know and, and i mentioned this in another movie that we had watched recently um just about the more that we watch movies kind of together in the hyper focused nature and this is so this is a term that i've used multiple times so if you're newer to the channel um what I what I'm referencing when I say that is when you watch movies at home, you know the phones ring and dogs are barking, stuff's mm -hmm. going on. You you know you take bathroom breaks, whatever. Half the time you don't pause. Even when you're in a theater, you're kind of you know if you're there with somebody, you're laughing along with somebody. When we watch films here, we're in we're in a studio, sound dampened. We have headphones on and we're laser focused on the film. And so I think we pay attention to things that a lot of people maybe wouldn't, and, and even ourselves in other situations. So I don't want to I don't want to act like we're like these fine connoisseurs of movie. And <laughs> oh, did you see the way that was shot? No, it's just the nature of it. Mm -hmm. And so the more we're getting into movies, I think the more appreciation we have for the way movies were shot, camera angles, um, the the way shots are set up, and things like that. And this movie stood out as being very unique to me with um, the way that it was shot. Um, Again, a great story, great actors. Everybody nailed their performances. Uh, Answer. What else was was Deborah in? Can you pull her up because she looked. Oh, Lily James. She, Lily James looks really familiar. Uh, he to me. was. In, apologies to. Ansel was, was in Divergent. I'd even recognize him. Oh, yeah. Me, we watched all uh, those movies. Pride, Major. Prejudice, Prejudice and, and Zombies. zombies. There. Yep. That's oh, like, she God, was the she lead. Yeah. She looks really familiar. Yeah. It's like we and we we watched that not um, not that long ago. Oh, she was uh, she was in the Iron Claw. That's going to be coming. Uh, from our channel as well, yep. um, Wrath of to Fast Girls. Okay, so I, I and in any regard, I was wondering where I saw her in, and she yes, look it was definitely yeah. Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies, which I liked better than the original. But that's another story. <laughs> yes, we know we got to watch the BBC version. Yeah. Um, but in any regard, a really a really solid movie. Great story, great action, great camera work, the way they shot it. Um, great actors and actresses in this film. And just a really well thought out, just different kind yeah, of movie. Um, I didn't word. see the ending going the way it would either. I think, um, I think um, uh, Doc, you know, uh, felt some guilt for the things that he did to Baby over the years, and essentially, he knew that Baby wanted out. Mm. Baby wanted out. He told him clear. He said, "You have to stay in." So you put him in this situation, right? And and also. Uh, you know, things went bad with Jamie Foxx's character, and Doc is the guy who put his character in there. So it's like everything that that baby was dealing with, Doc put him there. So I felt like at the end, you know, that was kind of the turnaround. He screwed him over, whatever, gave him a bag of cash. Um, I, I really felt like after, you know, he was... Uh, he got away like he was gonna be able to get away from John Ham's character yeah. as Buddy. That was cool how that played out. Yeah. And then you know they they didn't really show us. I mean because it, it was at night, and then you know you're driving until daylight. They're like, okay, did they get away? You figure they would have had like all the highways blocked out of the city, so they took side roads. Driving with a car with a shot of windshield. Yeah, yeah all So that's never up. good, but she didn't know how to, probably how to boost the car. He already had that one. So interesting ending. Um, I liked the way they showed uh, he had all the character witnesses there. So when his parole hearing came in five years, um, you know, he, he made his first parole. I, I, you know, fun part of the story, interesting fun, whatever you want to call it. Like they met at the diner mm -hmm. and granted it's it's hard to know the time frame but it felt like everything was condensed in a very right. short mm -hmm. time frame it didn't feel like they had like you know they didn't do the time lapse where job after job after job right. and those two like going on dates and getting Between, to know each other yeah. better like some sometimes movies do that just to kind of forward along um the, you know the, the time frame it felt like it was pretty new so for her to stick by his side mm -hmm. and then wait while he was in jail for five years and come back with a new car she had purchased, um, I thought was I thought was pretty interesting. But um, 
Yeah, just oh wow, what a what a really shocking surprise. Yeah. I thought it was going to be just kind of a heist getaway type story, and it had so much more substance than that. Yeah, yeah. I, this is I want to say the second or third time. Uh, what got me even watching it the first time was like. God, John Hamm, I didn't think that he would, because they were bonding, you know, they were bonding really good. And then, of course, because of what happened to uh, Darlin, he had a, like like she said, when something happens to her, he, he goes red. Yep. And that's exactly what happened. And so we saw him go after those, get, go after, you know, obviously I go after Baby and Deborah. But, yeah, the chemistry between uh, – the way that uh, he played it, Baby, I loved it. It was just, you know, with the hearing, he had the traumatic experience, so then it's the music. So that's why when he got in the car at the end, like even where Jamie Foxx was alluding to earlier, that we had a guy, he had to get the right music on. He was sitting there, and instead of being in the bank, he made it out. I mean, something happened to him later, but I don't know what happened. And, you know, which he was alluding to, obviously that. And so I was glad you caught the the rail, the... The rebar. the rebar in the truck. Cause yeah, because I, I like honestly that. though, I couldn't remember or not, if, whether he used it or not, but he did that. But back to Miles, how Ansel, if that's how he's pronounced his yeah, name, Ansel. how he played it was just phenomenal. I loved him doing the sign language with Joe, his foster parent, because obviously he lost both parents, so he had to become that. I loved the whole backstory that he jacked Doc's car, and so then Doc's like, well. You're gonna have to repay me. Uh, he's like, I saw a certain skill, and well, instead of you know taking them out, so to speak, he's like, I'll I'll keep giving them jobs and just only give them ten grand each time. And as we saw, he had a lot underneath that floor, enough to make sure Joe had a nice, comfy stay at the old folks' home. But then from that to the driving, the stunts was just amazing. Just like the 180s, <coughs> the bobbing, and the weaving. The drifting, obviously, you know, we've done Fast and Furious, what, just 9 and 10, though, for the channel. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah. so we obviously love our car movies and how those stunts all go. So this was just so much fun to watch these stunts done by him. Just anywhere he wanted to go in Atlanta, we, I saw that they – they practice on the rail on the Atlanta Motor Speedway to make sure they could get them right. Yep. They shut down 40 streets of Atlanta just to be able to try and do all these stunts. Like, yep. could you just imagine like you're in an office building? Like, oh, they have the sh yeah. the street closed off for what? Yeah. Well, watch. I think I think Atlanta. So they, they sh I know they shoot a lot of stuff in Atlanta. Oh yeah, a lot of yeah, stuff. A lot yeah. of Georgia's. Stuff gets, I guess yeah, with their tax breaks. I think it's, it's, it's their that tax breaks purposes, and stuff like and I that. I think Wisconsin had a, a time frame like that. We had a, we had a time frame where there was a bunch of popular movies were made there. Um, a, a friend of mine from college was moved Toronto. They do moved too. from um, moved from California to Atlanta. Her and her husband built a beautiful house there. And she's a she's a pretty um, named Linda, an incredibly talented athlete and an incredibly talented stunt woman. And she's done Marvel stuff. She's done Walking Dead. She's done some really high up stuff. And it was interesting that you know because you you think about that like how are they shutting down streets like that? And I, and I think in Atlanta they do a lot of filming there again. I'm sure, I the end of the credits uh, you'd see the Georgia Peach attacks yeah. type yeah. thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know I, it's funny that you bring up Fast and Furious because it's like. The, the car scenes in Fast and Furious, as it went later in the movies, got got more outlandish. Um, they took a Fiero to space. Um, but this is a movie where we had really high action Maybe car chase moon. scenes, yeah. um, but it without having it necessarily go over the top or just become wildly unbelievable. Even, you know, I love the Mission Impossible movies. I absolutely love them. Even some of Tom Cruise's chase scenes in the Mission Impossible movies feels like, yeah, yeah the Fiat they're was awesome, good. They're awesome, but a bit the electric Fiat. Yeah. <laughs> they're awesome, but they're yeah, sometimes they push it. Well, when you're in a franchise, you have to keep upping the yeah, game. But you didn't. But you didn't. I, I if just for me, I didn't get the feel like the car chase scenes were super outlandish. You felt like you were watching a very skilled. Very hyper focused driver doing wild shit with a car. I like that they showed the shifting, the brakes, and stuff like that. So it's not just you see me cranking a steering right. wheel and stuff like yep. that. It kind of made you a little bit more immersed in the chase. But that was one thing that I, I thought was really good because we do look, we watch some action movies here, and sometimes the car chase scenes, um, the last Fast and Furious, and look, you got to take the Fast and Furious for what they are. And, and we're not here to pick them apart because. 
they're just over the top. Darn right we're we, not. We love what they've become. <laughs> not everybody does. We love what they've become, but at some point it's like, all right. No, at no point. At no point. Oh, he's completely wrong. <laughs> no, Don't at listen no to that. That's, that's like, one I, man's I, opinion, I allegedly. Still, I still look at that's you. Everybody's like, oh, Mason Quinn is Mason Quinn is always so calm and collected, <laughs> prom and prim. You want to know how to get it riled up? Just. Talk a little bit about the Fast and the Furious <laughs> franchise. And tell them they're a little over the yeah. top. Oh, Diamond Dave gets him good sometimes. Well, you know, it's, it's <laughs> funny. You, it's I'm, I'm glad you brought that up, Oak, because what I liked, a uh, big shout out to Jeremy Fry, the stunt coordinator for all the driving. But what I liked outside of some most action movies with the, with the stunt scenes with cars, you know, they weren't using mclarens and vets and lambos and maseratis they're using everyday average cars yep. which i i like to see it's in a some really car good chases. point you know we had like a toyota corolla i think they had a taurus in there avalanche but only the real sporty car was probably the the subaru wrx but beyond that they were all kind of average cars which makes it interesting because that's what most people own so you kind of like oh i could do that in my corolla but you know it brings a sense of realism as much as you can to mm -hmm. to a car chase well because i thought they explained it well he wanted a, a normal car yeah, that he you can want to fit in because yep. look at he, he was smart with the three red cars and he went in the middle and yep. then he that was over. that was really cool he saw the two cars turn around got him under the underpass yep. of course like the old well, three card monty uh, yeah, yeah what would they have done if uh, they didn't have those two red cars oh, you know lucky. but it was that was really cool but yeah i mean incredible stunt work and uh and uh i do love the fast and the furious i'm not i just we just like give the mason quinn a hard time yeah, it was just such a no, uh, where's, where's my board? Oh, you can have that one brother so uh, underneath did you look underneath there's my board Man, it's not like you couldn't dry that si draw that yeah. sign again. I have the uh, race right that'd be, yeah, that'd be tough. So, <laughs> folks, this one was so much fun. And, again, what I'm blown away by was this was not what I had expected. Um, I remember there was a gentleman at, that I used to work with, and he told me he was a fan of this movie. And I was like, ah, I don't know. I've heard some conflicting things that it's not that great. It's a little weirder out there. At the time, I didn't know Edgar Wright was behind it. If I had known that, it would have been a different story. Soul. But again, it's something that's so out of his wheelhouse that I normally see. So this one was, was just great. Um, the only thing that I would change would be a little bit of the music, but that's that's my fault. That's me for having a different taste in music than what other people do. I will not uh, generally fault the movie for that just because it was stuff I didn't know. Music is subjective, so if you loved it, great on you, absolutely. For me, this was, for a heist movie, Darn near perfect. 4.99 out of five answers. <laughs> he gives him a 9.9. Nine. Nine. Nearly couldn't, perfect. Couldn't give him that five. I can't because for my mind, the perfect heist movie is Heat. That's absolutely one of oh, my favorites. You said that, your one little glimmer was the music. Yeah, yeah. That, that so that's just what's holding it. That can't hey, look, be beat. It's, so, it's again, and I'm blown away by it. I absolutely loved this movie way more than I thought I would. So, Man, I can't believe uh, it was able to be a secret for me for this long since 2017, and I didn't know it had such a serious turn and every actor was huh? a villain. Huh? Well, I have seen it before. I loved it before. Loved it again. This was a great second watch, especially with these two, especially with the car nuts that they are, <laughs> and with all of you as well. Thank you for suggesting that. I give it a 475. Yeah, this was a lot of fun for me. Look, uh, at the end of the day, this is pretty high up there as far as heist, car chase type movies. Uh, Mason Quinn brought it up. It was super cool that we saw it with everyday cars and things like that. A unique Innovation. story. Great, um, great performances. Uh, you know, just all around an incredible movie. This is a 4.8 for me. Um, I, I hate to even say there's some things that I would nitpick about it, and and we've been giving away a lot of fives Here lately. It, does, it doesn't doesn't quite hit me as, as a five type movie, yeah. but uh, as far as the movies that aren't five, I feel like 4.8 and 4.9 is a weird area for me. <laughs> it is. It's like, I feel like uh, a lot of fours, a lot of 4.25, yeah. some 4.5s, and then it's like yeah. five. So this was really good. Slightly short of perfection, but all in all, an incredible movie. And once again, as always, thank you so much to the people who recommended this movie. This was a ton of fun. And it is worth mentioning that this is a very rewatchable oh, yeah. movie. Yeah. And, 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 you know, we watch with headphones on, but this is a movie I want to go home when I have some time alone. And the reason I mention that is because 
uh, I can't play my, I have a, I have a loud surround sound system at my house that does, doesn't get pushed to the limits too far. I want to watch this movie with my surround sound mm-hmm. pedal to the floor. Yeah. Oh, so. yeah. It'll be an excellent rewatch, and thank you once again, guys. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. Good night, pals.